beautiful babes, so welcome or welcome back to my channel, Boss Up Budgets. On this channel, I do cash stuffing, budgeting, saving up challenges, and all things money related. I also love to chit chat with you girls, you guys out there while I talk about my finances. So I always recommend grabbing a cup of coffee, tea, wine, whatever, and just come hang out with me. I'm going to be stuffing at paycheck number 3 of June, and today I have $1,130 for you guys. So so I always like to start off with the cash count. I just love double checking just to make sure that all of my money is here correctly. One, two, three, four hundred, four fifty. I'm gonna use my calculator this time to help me out. Then we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 520. And we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. So that was 150 in fives. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Perfect. So all of our cash is there. Now I'm going to start off with my weekly allowance finder. So I already checked, but I don't have any leftover money in any of these envelopes. So we can go ahead and start with the cash stuff. Let me move this forward just a tad. Actually, before this video, I did separate the nice bills and the ugly bills. So usually I put the ugly bills in the back. And for any envelopes that I guess won't be staying, like the money inside won't be staying with me for that long, then I just use ugly bills. Especially my weekly allowance binder, I use ugly bills for this because obviously I'm going to be using it at the end of the week. But some of them, when they're like more long-term sinking funds, I do like using, you know, the nicer bills just to have nicer bills on hand, aesthetically pleasing, things like that. So anyways, coffee, I'm gonna get some of the ugly bills from the back. I'm putting net $10 for that. And then I'm gonna go into dining out. Again, ugly bills, I'll put 20, $40. And I actually came back from a date, a date day slash night with my boyfriend. We got crawfish and pinkberry, which is um, yogurt, to end the night. It was so good. I've been craving crawfish for like the longest time. And yeah, we finally got to go get it. Uh, gas is going to be getting $15. So 5 10 and 15 and we actually did quite a bit today so let me just tell you guys what I did and typically during the weekends is the the time that I spend with him so we usually plan and do quite a bit of things on the weekends groceries is going to be getting 75 so 20 40 60 65 70 and 75 and so let me just take you guys through it. So we woke up, I needed to go get my coffee. So we got some Starbucks. Then we decided to get lunch at Chipotle. So me and him shared a bowl uh, just because we knew we were gonna get crawfish at night. So we didn't wanna like overstuff ourselves for lunch. Spending is gonna get $5. And that is it for my weekly allowance. That totaled to $145 that I can spend this week. Then I'm going to move into my monthly expenses and my debt binder. I zoomed you guys in just a tad. And then after Chipotle, we took my dog to a dog park really quickly so that he could socialize, so that he could enjoy the air. Then we ended up dropping him off because we needed to run into Costco really quick. And you know, you can't have any dogs in Costco. The first one is car insurance and it is going to be getting 20 and 40 Now it has 20 40 60 80 at 1 and 120 
so after I dropped them off, I went to Costco and I got a couple things. I got toilet paper. Um, I got this really pretty Hennessy bottle and I'm planning to gift it to my best friend around November. I know it's pretty early to get that Hennessy bottle, but it's it was really pretty on the outside and it was pretty cheap for what it was. Usually she likes drinking privilege, so I had to get that for her. And on the outside of the bottle, it was like a red, like special edition. If I can find a photo I will show it for you guys. I got that for her because I'm planning to um, surprise her with it around November, December, end of the year. And then I also got a hundred dollar gift card in Roblox. The game Roblox, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. I heard of it but I've never played it but I got a hundred dollars for my goddaughter. Her birthday is at the end of July so I just wanted to get that ahead of time. Oops, I missed 20. I missed some money in here. So Carno is going to be getting 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, and 90. So now it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 265, and 270 dollars. Jim is getting five, six, seven, eight, and it has five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four. And I went with my boyfriend, and he's like, I think a hundred dollars is too much for a child to spend all in one time because that gift card came with like four twenty five dollar gift card all in one. He's like, oh, maybe you should just give it to her like periodically instead of giving it all to her at once. And I'm kind of debating on it, but I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I don't want to restrict her. I'm not very good at that. I don't even think I'm very strict at all. So yeah, I'm like, maybe I should just give it to her all at once. I think she'll be really happy. Um, Orthodontics is gonna be getting 20, 40, 45, 50, 60, 45 and 55 now it has 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 45 50 55 60 and 65 I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know if you have any children in your life and would you give an eight year old a hundred dollar gift card for something? Or if you had the opportunity to give them or a $25 gift card periodically, which one would you choose? Um, next is my phone and it is getting 20, 40, 60. Now it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. All right, and that is it for my recurring expenses. Then we're gonna go into my fixed expenses. The first one is my car registration. I am gonna put five, six, seven, and eight. And now it's gonna have 100, 120, 130, 135, 140, 140, 142, 43, 44, 45, 46, and 47. And yeah, so after we went to Costco, we ended up going back home. I was super beat, so I actually took a nap before we went to go get some crawfish. I napped for like, I don't know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Debt credit card this week is gonna get one, two, three hundred and three fifty. And yeah, and then we went to go get crawfish and I actually saw one of my best friends surprisingly at crawfish. She just finished eating for Father's Day and she's actually the mom of my goddaughter. So crazy all in one day. After that, we ate crawfish and then me and my boyfriend decided to drive like 20, 30 minutes out to get uh, yogurt at one of my favorite yogurt places, which is Pinkberry. I absolutely love it. I love that place more than Yogurt Land, to be honest. And the next one is my debt envelope for my taxes. So we got $105 in this. Now it has 1,500, 1,600, 1,700, 1,800, 850, 855, 860, and 865. 
after that, we just ate yogurt inside the car, talked for a little bit, and then drove home. Now I'm home and I was like, oh, it's already the 16th. I gotta cash stuff for the following week, so now I'm here. So now we're gonna go into my emergency funds and savings. Just a couple more things to stuff here. We have Bentley Emergency first, and he is getting 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, and 75. Now he has 1,100, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 395, 400, 45, 410, and 415. Next, I'm going into my life insurance. This is getting 20, 25, 30. 35 and 36 so then we have 500 600 700 800 820 840 860 880 900 920 940 945 950 955 956 57 58 59 60 61 and 62 so I think I have like two more weeks worth of stuffing and I can switch all of this out to a $1,000 bill placeholder, which is going to make this envelope so much thinner. And then we're going to go into my investing account. We're going to put 20 and a 5. And now we have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, and 75. So what do you guys do with your partners when it comes to date nights? I would really love to know if there's any ideas, especially for some of you that are in the Bay Area. There is one thing that me and my boyfriend might be going to in July or August. We're going to a night run. So I think it's a 5k run at night. But other than that, let me know what you guys do with your partners. Maybe you guys are the couple that like to stay inside maybe you're a type of couple that likes to wine and dine i don't know i just love listening to what others are doing Ooh, before i finish we're gonna stuff for new beginnings i'm gonna put 20 40 45 and 50. So now it has 100, 200, 300, 320, 340, 350, 355, 360, and 361. And that is it for this binder. And the last binder, I am only going to stuff two envelopes. This is my short-term sinking funds binder. And I don't tend to stuff this that much because I'm really focusing on saving and paying off my expenses. But when I do have extra money, I do like stuffing it. The first one I'm going to stuff is Bentley Essentials. I'm going to put 5, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So I like stuffing a little bit of money in this to get Bentley his treats, toys, food, things like that. And then we're gonna go in to high maintenance. I am gonna put 20, 40, 60, 65, and 70. And it now has 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 185, 190, and 191. And I'm actually stuffing $70 because I'm going to get my first ever pedicure. I think that's what it's called. I'm going to get my toes done with my best friend for one of the first times ever. And I'm planning to get some milky white toes. I'll show you guys a photo of what I am inspired to get. But I think $70 is enough. She did tell me it was $55 for the basic set. So I think I'm going to just stuff $70 dollars we shall see i will let you guys know how that goes but that is it for this week's cash stuffing thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in my next one ta-ta for now